Hi everyone, uh, Happy New Year to you all and welcome to the Christmas Pickups Part 2. Welcome to the Fantasy Club, get ready. So welcome and as you can see I've got a new layout now I've, this is me uh, computer desk behind me and if you remember me mentioning in previous videos about tidying it up getting I had a big TV which pretty much took up the majority of the computer desk uh, that's gone now I've got my new TV up on the wall and I've, I've managed to make a bit of space um, and it's a lot better so with a new year I'm just going to try a different format now I haven't done this purposely for the new format um, that's how I wanted uh, it to look originally uh, but when I, was, uh, when I was setting up I thought I don't know I'll, I'll try a different view and hopefully you'll enjoy this new look um, what I'm going to do is rather than like show you the the pickups close up like this. Um, in the previous set, it were a lot easier, I was a lot closer to the camera. I'm a bit further away now, obviously, you've got a lot more in view. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record all the bits separately, and hopefully, that'll get give you a, a better quality um, video of what I've actually picked up. Now, I'm going to start off with something I forgot to, to show you in the last pickups. And I got this actually probably the, the end of November. It's an Xbox 360 and it's the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Limited Edition. And it was relatively cheap. I think I forgot now because it was a, a, a good month ago. I think it was about £40. The box, it isn't in the greatest condition, although I have seen worse. Um, it's got a few, a few scuffs. Uh, a lot of sellotape and, and labels uh, from various shops um, and it stinks of fag smoke but I will begin to clean down also the, the inside um, the cardboard packers which sit around the Xbox console inside this box they're missing so um, I'm going to hunt for some strong cardboard at work and see if I can make my own uh, just to just to help support it a little bit rather than everything shaking about inside I'll show you the video of the console itself like I said it's limited edition how limited I have no idea as with anything nowadays um, I think you know you you, you reskin it and chuck a little bit of extra content in and it's limited edition uh, but yeah so it does say that on the box it does say it comes with a black headset and I don't believe that's present in this. Uh, it comes with a 320 gig hard drive, um, two wireless controls now and there's only one. So it, it is missing certain uh, parts to it. But you know, for £40, that were like, yeah, no one. I, I got it for the design of the console to be honest, more than anything. That's the Xbox 360 limited edition. So next, well, I, I'm going on to the Christmas pickups now. Uh, what I actually got as presents on Christmas Day. So let's start with um, what my me, me good wife bought me. And as you all know, I love Crash Bandicoot. And it's this Crash Bandicoot Bell Jar Light. Um, <coughs> it's still in its box. Um, I've no intention of taking it out. I was running an iron actually on Christmas Day. Uh, I wanted to get it out and, and turn it on and test it. Um, and I did actually start opening the box up, but everything's packed in tight. And I thought there's a chance I might not get everything back in as it was. So that, that's staying as it is. It'll never be turned on. I know you, you could probably say, well, that's a shame. You know, the whole point of it is to have it as a light. Maybe put it in my lockup take it out and have it as a light but I'm, I'm I, I know I, I can't do it I can't do it I can't take it out of his box 
um, so it's staying in there. Next is um, a gift from me uh, from my sister and brother-in-law, and I, I, I know what she was getting me because she asked, she always asked me, what, what do you want? And I says, get me some of these coasters. Now I do already own uh, the, the PlayStation coasters. Uh, again, I'll show you a close-up of them, and I've already got one set, which is, I believe, it's a Sony set, uh, includes Ridgerator, but this is a Cap Capcom set. So we've got Resident Evil, we've got Resident Evil 2, we've got Dino Crisis, and we've got Street Fighter Alpha 2. It's a really nice set, and there's quite a few of these sets actually, all different. Uh, developers and what have you. They're really nice. Again, these, these are just going to be hung up in the local. They're, they're not going anywhere. They're not going to be used. I've got a coaster um, down here. Um, I got all the guys um, one of these, like slate. It's made of slate and it's got like a design on the front. I got them all one of these and uh, obviously I bought myself one and this is a Space Invaders. Uh, it matches my t shirt. Um, but yeah. So they're just going to stay in the box, uh, never to be used. Um, but you know, uh, they're just a showpiece. So that's um, that's what us collectors do, isn't it? We uh, don't particularly use the stuff. We just uh, show them off. Um, I forgot to mention actually, I've got Shenmue 2 uh, introduction running. Uh, it's on my PS4. The, I'll come to this in a bit. It's, uh, it's a new PS4 that uh, my missus uh, treated me to after Christmas. I'm such a spoiled kid. Um, so speaking of Shenmue, she did buy me. She got me these for Christmas. It's Shenmue 1 and 2 on PS4. And I've gone through Shenmue 1 already. Uh, it's a fantastic game. I, I know there's people out there who uh, it's slow. You know, you, you've got to wait for stuff, and I know, I know, it, it, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. I was talking to Nave Retro One the other day about um, about it, and you know, it's like you'll you meet a character, and they'll, they'll say, "Come back tomorrow at, at three o'clock in the afternoon." And you're like, why? Why do I have to wait till tomorrow? Just do it now. Um, you know, and you've got to find, you've got to run around, and you can't even fast forward the time. Not sure if that mechanic is available on Shenmue 2. Um, I haven't, I haven't noticed it actually after I started Shenmue 2. Uh, but yeah, Shenmue is a fantastic game. The 70 man battle at the end, uh, it's, it's a treat. Uh, it's, it's actually a fighting game that, that I can uh, do. Although I still button bash, uh, <laughs> uh, I managed to get through it. Took me a couple of attempts, and and actually one of the one of the bad guys. Uh, in the middle of the fight proved tougher than the actual boss at the end um, but yeah she got me Shenmue 1 and 2 and I was really pleased with that but then I opened this Shenmue 3 and I, I, I can't wait to play it in fact <clears throat> the dilemma I had on Christmas Day was do I just get straight into this Shenmue 3 I played 1 and 2 already do I just jump straight into it and uh, you know find out what happens no I thought no I'm going to play through them all again that way I can you know the, the, the story will flow better but yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying this, this series again um, but yeah Shenmue 3 is on the horizon um, I, I mean I've only just started Shenmue 2 so I know I've got a fair way to go on that game yet but that's, that's fantastic and this is day one edition Next, I got a um, couple of gifts from Eddie Roller Roller Car, not Roller X Car, Roller Car. I'm learning, mate. And um, the first one is a, is a PS2 game. I've never heard of this one, and it's it's called Falling Stars. And it's it's an RPG style game. Uh, and the the back does say many hours of exhilarating RPG style gameplay for kids. So this could be, I could actually play this because it might be easy. <laughs> I'm not really good on RPGs. Um, but yeah, I mean that the front, remin reminiscent of a Lilo and Stitch 
uh, kind of look there, especially with that little blue thing. Uh, but yeah, very Japanesey looking. Um, and it, the, the disc is actually in the, the PS2. I was trying to get a, a demonstration room, but I'm having a bit of trouble with the, the HDMI splitter I bought because obviously I've got, I'm going to have about five HDMI cables. Uh, I don't want to keep dragging my TV out to plug take one out, an HDMI cable out, put one back in, blah blah blah. So I bought an HDMI splitter. Um, I did own an HDMI splitter before and it was really cheap and it was really crap. Um, I threw it away. Uh, so I thought, well, you pay more, you get better quality. Um, it's slightly better quality, but for some reason it's not turning the channels over. It's just sticking to PS4. And even though I'm pressing the, the select button, it's just not, it's nothing, nothing's happening. So, yeah, I'm not having much luck with HDMI splitters. So, plan C, I haven't really got one, so I'm going to have to think of one. <laughs> but yeah, that's Falling Stars, and the other game that it got me, uh, this, this was sealed, um, and it's, I don't know how to say it, say it Agalos, Agalos, uh, Agalos, Agalos, I think. And Agalos. And it's a classical non linear adventure. Deadly encounters and a vast kingdom to explore. It's very 8 bit looking. And I've, I've had a go of it. Uh, Eddie wants me to review it, so I'll not give anything away. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's just like playing a, a Master System game, if you like. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, again, another demo. Dilemma, what do I open it? Do I unseal it? And I thought, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to play it. I want to go with this, actually. I want to play it, so that's what I did. This is by, look at my game, Storybird, PQ, probably a, a mixture of several uh, little developers. That's Agos on the PS4. And those were from Eddie of Roller Let's Go. And I also got some gifts from Peak Fighter 2. And some of these I did actually know where I were getting because um, where he works, um, the wrong display. So he asked, do you want me to get you? So I said, yeah, please. So the first one is, it's a Space Invaders heat change mug. And as you can see from the back, uh, when it's cold, there's nothing on the, on the like, little TV screen. And when it's hot, you've got the little, the little graphics. Um, it's surrounded by a, a nice Space Invaders uh, border. So this will go nicely with me mug collection. And I've done quite well with me mug collection, actually. In fact, no, I'm not missing one. I thought I was missing one, but I'm not. But Pete, Pete Fighter 2, he got, he got me that. And he also got me, it's a Game Boy. Uh, each change mug and um, again it's a similar style you've got you've got the border which resembles a Game Boy and the LCD screen when it's cold it's just black uh, but when it's hot we've got the little uh, LCD screen lit up um, uh, you know and, and that's fantastic uh, like I said again it's, it's another mug for my collection and if you saw me vlog, uh, my last vlog, you know that I'm going to try and rearrange me a little wire shelving rack. Um, and I'm going to put me mugs on top. That's right. So well, hopefully they'll be better displayed. So that was from Pete as well, Pete Fighter 2. And that wasn't it. And he, he also got me these little key rings. Space Invaders. Arcade key ring and the Pac-Man, little keychain uh, with Pac-Man sound effects um, again ah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure if that one's got sound effects no, that one ain't got sound effects Space Invaders one is just there uh, it's just a key ring without no sound effects uh, the little Pac-Man one a uh, little button at the back you just press that <laughs> uh, they're amazing. They'll, they'll, they'll get hung up. 
from the, the wire mesh on the roof. So again, yeah, they'll, they'll never be open. They're, they're just collectibles to me. And then finally, he uh, he said he said he'd put a surprise in, and it really was a surprise, and it was a lovely surprise. And uh, it's uh, it's a Mega Drive, Mega Drive Beaniat bubble app. And I've been I've been wearing this. Weather's been nice and cold, so it's been keeping me head warm. Uh, in fact, I wore it on my vlog. I uh, don't know if any of you noticed, but yeah, it's uh, it's lovely. And I've only got a little head, I've only got a P head, so it's nice and tight. It fits snug as a bug. So that's spot on, Pete. Uh, I really like that. Because a lot of my other hats are quite big, so they just flop about. But this one's nice and tight. And if it's cold on, uh, on Saturday, Saturday the 11th, is the Arcade Club at Leeds meetup, and uh, there'll be myself, Pete Fight Two, Nafe Retro One, Rollcore, and David Retro Games played badly. He's joining us as well. Uh, it's going to be an absolute blast. I can't wait. I really can't. It's exactly a week today uh, at the time of recording this. So yeah, uh, if it's if it's cold, I'm going to be wearing this, mate. I'm going to have to take it off in here though, because I've had eating on it. <laughs> it's red hot. So, what else did I get? Well, oh, I nearly forgot. This is another mug, and this is Crash Bandicoot Heat Change Mug. And again, it's when it's cold, there's nothing in the little window. When it's warm, when it's hot, you've got Crash Bandicoot. Uh, cheeky chappy is crash uh, but yeah it, it's fantastic um, these these three box cups though they'll not get used they'll stay in the boxes um, they'll stay nice and brand new unused so the next few pickups are just what I've bought recently since Christmas and on Boxing Day myself and my wife we actually parade the sales uh, I know David Retro Games played badly on I think it was the last pick, the first pickups video, part one. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned that you know, oof, rather you than me, kind of thing. And yeah, I'm 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 not a big shopper, especially on uh, days like Boxing Day, where it's absolutely rammed. Um, but to be fair, I just let the missus wander off, do a, do a shopping, and I went to Costa. Um, just chilled out and had a nice uh, cup of coffee. Um, but yeah, uh, but I did actually venture into Debenhams. Now, well, it, it might have been Pete that that showed me um, or linked me some like clone consoles, if you like, arcade uh, type of consoles that they're selling Debenhams uh, in the sale, and I thought. I'm going to have a mosey in and I'm going to see if I can find one of these um, because it's like a, a Famicom looking console and I've not seen them in Debenhams in the lead up to Christmas so I wasn't very confident that I wasn't going to find one but what did I do? I found one. So <clears throat> it's simply titled Retro Console and like I said it's a Famicom looking uh, console, Famicom Clone. Now I don't think that it actually has Nintendo um, games on it as in most of these clone consoles usually have Nintendo NES emulation software um, but this I believe is just I think it's just made up games that they've made up for the console um, they'll be absolutely crap, uh, I've no doubt about that. Includes over 400 16 bit games. They're, no way in hell they're 16 bit. <laughs> they're 8 bit. They're 8 bit graphics if ever I've seen them. But yeah, I mean, it were on sale at half price. It should have been £34, so I got it for £17. And I haven't had it out yet. And then the trouble now with having a new telly is there's no, there's no AV. Uh, input. Um, so 
and this is AB, it's not HDMI obviously. So I don't know where I'm going to test it out, probably at my lockup. Um, I might hook it up there uh, on, the, on that little TV um, and try it there. I'll probably get it out, play it once and then it'll go back in this box uh, into my collection. But like, like Peak Fighter, I love these, these quirky, daft, if you like, uh, rubbish, uh, pretend clone consoles. There's just some, there's just some quirky about them, and yeah. So any, any, any chance I can get to pick the, one of these, I, I do. And actually, I've, in the last month, I picked four um, clone handheld consoles. And I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing reviews of these. Actually, I think I've been toying with idea for a while now. So perhaps another, another series I can do is. Um, is these cheap knockoff consoles. Anyway, this is the retro console from Debenhams. It's by the Orb. Orb Gaming. Uh, they seem to be quite quite prominent uh, within the clone type consoles. So, another one that I got in the sale is this. It's a mini arcade machine. And again, this one um, as you can see on the price, I think it should have been £30 and it was, it was £15, but everything was half price. And yeah, I mean the games again, they're just, they're just 8 bit type games. Again, I don't believe these are emulated off any, any console, they're just um, what's been cobbled together for the purpose of these kind of machines. Um, there was actually another one, and it was a double one, for like two players, and a toy idea of getting that, but I decided on this instead, and it's got a nice hanging, so that'll go up uh, in the lockup, in front of it. But yeah, that's a mini arcade machine, and it's again it's by Orb Gaming. Um, how many games? 240 games. I mean, all, all the games on the back actually, look, look, they, I'll, I'll be honest, look crap. They might be fun, they might be fun, I don't know, but they don't, they don't look nothing special. They all seem to be uh, RPG or puzzle type, type of games. I imagine the processor that they're using isn't very, very good. Uh, it'll be cheap, so they need simple games uh, to run. There'll be no racing games or anything like that and what else have we got oh i got i picked up a few commodore 64 games and i'll start with the americana software i've been collecting for american software and i've managed to find these two and um, the first one is disaster blaster americana software was owned by Mastertronic, I think, I think Eddie said Mastertronic. Um, they were mainly uh, re-releases of US Gold titles. But yeah, I've never heard of this game. And it's still got the original hour price sticker on, $1.99. Uh, even though, ah, they, they, were, they should originally, it says on the front, $2.99. They should have been $2.99, these kind of games. This case is a little bit cracked, just slightly. So I will be on the lookout for a spare case. Um, but yeah, that's Disaster Blaster. And then the other one is Ollie's Follies. Uh, this one, there's no screenshots on the back of the one on Disaster Blaster. 24 screens in which to master the moves and reach the Energizer before all fury breaks loose. Watch out for the hot air as you'll feel yourself blown into the path of oncoming robots. Um, you know, the cover looks uh, colourful enough and, uh, and fun, uh, but we've no idea what, what the game actually plays. But as with the Firebird uh, collection, at the moment now with Americana, I'm stuck. There's just no other titles coming up. And there's still, there's still a few titles to get hold of. And I thought the hardest one, I'd, I'd got the Bruce Lee, but 
Now there, um, there's there's a lot of other titles. They're just not. I can't can't find them. Simple as that. They're just not on eBay. Uh, so anyway, I, I managed to find some Firebird titles. Well, one of them is. What happened with Firebird is that they have these old style uh, inlays, the, the screenshots in the middle, uh, the big Firebird logo. But then they did um, they did release some of these titles again with newer covers, newer inlays, um, the more hand drawn inlays. Uh, I had side, I've got Silo with the newer inlay, but I didn't have it with the old style. So I bought Silo on the old old label, and I managed to find Frost Two. I've already got Frost. Really, this I, I've seen this for a long time. I've seen it up on eBay. I was not having it logged on my phone. I couldn't remember if it was Frost or Frost Two that I had. Uh, it turns out it was Frost that I've got. Frost is a brilliant game. It's based on gravity, physics, uh, you know, and I think David Retro Games played badly. He played the, it might have been the BBC version, rather Spectrum or BBC version. Um, all, all the conversions of these games, they were, they were really good. That's Frost too. And then this one uh, I managed to come across is Subsunk. Again, it, it's not that I haven't been able to find it. There's, there's a few on eBay, and um, I just assumed that I'd got it. And when I had a good look um, about two weeks ago, I realised actually I haven't got this. Uh, this is on the old label. I haven't seen I haven't seen a copy with a new label. Ones I have got is Booty, old label, new label. I've now got Silo and Jenny the Germ and Go Go the Ghost they have old and new uh, labels uh, there, is, there is a few other games as well so I was telling Nate Retro on on the phone yesterday um, I'm about I'm only about halfway into the Firebird collection I think there's 180 titles in total but I just can't I just can't find the others um, I mean, I'm, I am slowly chipping away at them. Uh, it's just, it's just time, isn't it? It's just having the patience to wait for something to come up. Uh, I've got my eBay saved searches ready to pounce on any, any that do come up. Um, but yeah, it's just the waiting game. So, lastly, I just got a few pickups from <coughs> CEX and. Went to the White Rose um, about a week after, got a few days, maybe after Boxing Day, um, and I just bobbed in to see it. Well, I, the missus actually got me this PS4. It's a PS4 Slim, and it, it's purely for this computer desk, um, for this TV. We have got a PS4 under the, the main telly, uh, just behind the tripod, behind the camera. Uh, that's uh, the Arkham Knight limited edition, uh, but that's Joe's, that's not mine, and that's connected to that TV. And then um, let me lock up in the collection, I've got the Metal Gear Solid limited edition and um, a, white, a white PS4. So the PS4 collection's building up nicely, as in systems. Uh, they did have um, what, anniversary, an anniversary edition and it was £600 in CEX. I think, well it was £600 before Christmas and when we went in just after Christmas um, I think they dropped the price to about £560 or something like that. Still a lot of money to pay uh, for a console. Anyway, while I was in CEX I did pick up um, Point and Click Trilogy Broken Sword. Love the Broken Sword trilogies. Um, they're great games, and the the broken the original Broken Sword, which is Shadow of the Templars, 
um, it really takes me back to the PlayStation 1 when it was first released on that. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So that's Broken Sword Trilogy and that's for my point and click uh, hidden object collection. Um, in my vlog video you will have made me mention that I'm just going to pick up Xbox 360 games that I want to play. I'm not collecting for the full set or anything like that. All subsets. I'm just going to buy, if I see one or oh, I fancy playing that, um, then I will buy it. And I know it's this, I know some of the lads um, have got like a, some kind of box box set of it or something like that, a special edition. But this is, a, this is just the game and it's the Alan Wake. It looks really good. It does look really good. It looks very, um, it's a psychological thriller I believe. Psychological action thriller. Um, and it does look amazing. I imagine it to be in the same kind of mould as um, Until Dawn and Man of Maiden. So I'm looking forward to playing this once I get an Xbox 360 set up there. I do have a couple of Xbox 360s. Um, obviously I've just got this one but I don't want to use that. Maybe being limited edition, I want to keep it boxed. I've got a white one. Um, but that one's not really going to go with everything on here because everything's black. I might have another, but I ain't got a black one. Um, I know that, so I'm going to have to wait until I get uh, a black Xbox 360. Uh, and then I can hook it up uh, with all the rest of these down here. So that's Alan Wake. And then two PlayStation 2 pickups. They're nothing special. Um, Tele Addicts. Which um, Retro Bear, uh, I think he covered the Wii version, he did like a, a, a gameplay video. Uh, I'll <laughs> His humour is incredible. Uh, it's real, really funny to watch him play those games. Uh, he's done a few t quiz, quiz shows and other TV shows, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's just Telly Addicts for the PS2. All complete, and then. ATV2 quad power racing. Oh, this one from C8. This was a charity shop pickup. I actually found it in the charity shop, 99 pence. Uh, just your typical quad racing game. Don't think it's anything special. Um, it, it, it's complete. So, does that conclude it? I don't think there's anything else left to show you. I'm just having to scan around to <laughs> make sure I haven't missed no. I will show you my setup um, at the end of this video. Uh, just give you a quick, brief tour of it. And yeah, I, I hope you like the new format. If you haven't, let me know. So I'll go back to how it was. Um, or, or is this better? I won't know until I, I edit it and, and have a look myself. Uh, so yeah, but that concludes uh, part two of my Christmas pickups and I have ordered more stuff <laughs> so there, there will be another pickup video in, in maybe a week or two but uh, and it's, it's his main PlayStation 2 I believe all that's left to say is um, once again Happy New Year hope you have a great one I hope 2020 is a good year for you and yeah that's it for now uh, until the next time we meet uh, I'll see you later. So as you can see, I've got my uh, TV. It's set up on the wall. And I just slightly move the curtain. It's just on a bracket. It's just a small bracket, but it's on the side because I couldn't drill to this back wall purely because the sockets and the chances are the wires all run straight up i didn't want to drill into them <laughs> so i've got the the bracket on that side wall and it's nice it puts it on an angle actually it's a 32 inch tv i couldn't have got any bigger to be honest otherwise it really wouldn't have, wouldn't have looked right um but yeah before i had the tv big tv sat where the laptop is now and it did really pretty much tick up most of the uh, the computer desk but now I've got my laptop on there 
um, ready for editing uh, this is the new edition the PS4 and that's the desk in its entirety um, I've got my chair obviously now down here at the moment it's a bit of a mess because this is the HDMI split that we're talking about um, for some reason it's just not working at the moment right um, it's just not doing out it's not changing changing HDMI ports or anything um, but yeah I've got my PS3 down there as well I uh, know I've got a blue controller um, I've got a spare one at the lock up a black one I'm going to clean that up and then uh, match it up with that uh, I've got my Pandora's box that's just going to have to be sat there lent to until I come to play it I can plug it in and then sit it on my knee um, and then in here it's a bit of a mess again it's got junk up top but down here I've got my PS2 Slim, uh, the silver one at the moment. Uh, I do have, I do have, but a black PS3 Slim. Uh, I need to bring that here and put it so it matches everything black. And yeah, that that's about it really. I mean, there's not much to show you really, but uh, what's this? FIFA, FIFA 18. <laughs> um, the dreaded FIFA, but yeah. That is me uh, before it was a real mess. Um, I mean, down at the side there is a bit of storage space um, that, that I can utilise. Uh, before I've had, I mean, I've had all this junk down here just sat in there, but I'm tidying that up because a lot of that is going to my lock up. Uh, so, yeah, that's how it stands at the moment. I'll see if I can get a a view further back and it's next to the window so there's a, there's a bit of natural light coming in for the daytime but yeah that's uh, that's my computer desk at home my little my gaming setup at home uh, and, and once again thank you for watching and see you later